This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic, uh, that is theory, SAP theory. <coughs> okay, so the topics that we are going to cover there, we will understand what is theory, key features of SAP theory, okay? Issues with the traditional user interface, traditional GUI. Then we will understand the difference between user interface and user experience. We will see this. Then role-based theory UX, how the role-based theory works. Then simplified user experience. Okay, we will see. And then we will see how to launch theory through theory launchpad. How to log into theory. We will see that. Then different app types. What are the different app types we have? And then using theory apps. How to work with theory apps, we will understand. So these are the topics we will be covering in the theory. Okay. So basically, first we'll start with the introduction to theory. So basically, theory is a collection of apps with a simple and easy to use experience for broadly and frequently used SAP software functions that work seamlessly across devices, desktop, tablet, or even smartphone. Okay, so theory is another way of accessing SAP system. Okay, so previously, so far we discussed uh, to access the SAP, we used traditional GUI. Okay, we used GUI. Okay, SAP G, basically GUI. This logon pad we used. Logon pad used. Okay, so basically in ECC, in ECC, Normally to access SAP, we have the GUI. But as this GUI is having some, some uh, difficulties or some limitations or some problems, what they did is in S4 HANA, they came up with theory. So in S4 HANA, you have to, you have traditional GUI, traditional GUI, along with that, you have this theory. 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 Okay. So the major, another major advantage is this theory can be accessed from any device. Normally the traditional GUI, which we, we discussed previously, it can be accessed only from laptop or a desktop. Okay, this, this uh, GUI, graphical user interface, but the theory, theory can be accessed from any device. It can be accessed from a smartphone also. It's, it's a web-based basically, okay, I'll, I'll show you this. And then it can be accessed from a tab also. Tab also. Okay. So this is the one. So basically, it is a new browser-based user interface. Okay. So this can be accessed from a web browser. Okay. Instead of logging into your regular ERP system via GUI, GUI, they have introduced new method of access, new type of access that is called theory. Theory. It is announced in 2013. It is announced in 2013 and it is released in 2014. Okay. You don't need to be on S4 HANA. Of course, even in the ECC also, for some apps, you can access through theory. Some apps in ECC. Okay. So it's not that only on S in S4 HANA you can access the theory. In ECC also, for some apps, you can do through uh, theory. Okay. It is free license for SAP customer. So whoever implementing SAP, who, has, who is going for, who purchases SAP to implement, they will get this theory as a free license. Free. Okay. It supports HTML5 and can be used on any device. That's what I just explained. This can be, this theory can be accessed from any device, smartphone, tab, uh, uh, laptop, desktop, from any device. It supports multiple operating system like Windows, iOS, Android. It supports everything. Okay. Multi-language support. Okay. It supports multi-languages. Okay. And they are coming up with ever-increasing number of apps. They are keep on adding the new apps basically. This I will show it in the system. Okay. So these are the key features of the theory. Okay, so basically the, the transformation is the, the in the traditional uh, in the ER in the ECC we were using only the GUI where we uh, executed the functions using transactions. 
transactions like create production order okay create uh, change production order create bomb all these business functions we executed using transactions but in theory they we will be executing the functions using the apps so these are also called as tiles tiles okay so basically why they came up with this theory is nowadays uh, everybody wants to execute everything uh, uh, what do you call through mobile phone smartphone nowadays every everything people are uh, uh, willing to do everything from a smartphone so well, let's say you want to order a for food so no need to call anybody just to go to a mobile phone open the app relevant apps food ordering apps just uh, select whatever you want to order just order that through small phone, smartphone so everybody nowadays want everything to be done from a smartphone in this era so that's the reason sap also has came up with this idea that so that they can access the system from anywhere okay through these phones so it's a browser based so not only not only laptop or desktop it can be accessed from a tab or even from a smartphone okay it's a browser based basically but ultimately you will be end up with doing the same function whether you do through GUI or whether you do through theory through apps ultimately it is same thing you will end up doing the same function basically only the way you access the system is different okay and of course this theory what we are discussing it's somewhat simplified simplified we will we will discuss that in a minute <clears throat> okay so this is what it's a browser based it's a browser based mobile friendly it can be accessed from a mobile phone okay a smartphone and it is very easy to navigate not as complex as GUI. okay so that i will show it in the system so when you log into theory you will get like this you will get like this these are called apps tiles okay some people call it as apps some people call it as tiles okay and when you when you click on an app it, a, a typical theory app look like this look like this okay so now basically the the theory which we are discussing today it's a role based it's a role based application so when you log into theory you will get only the apps for which you have the access okay you you will not get all the apps all the transactions in the system all the apps in the system the problem with the traditional gui is suppose when you log in suppose if i log into uh, gui When you log in, you will get here everything. Unless you click on that, you will then only you will come to know whether you have access to the transaction or not. Normally, if you don't have access to the transaction, you will get a <clears throat> you will get a uh, uh, message here. You are not authorized to use this transaction. So until unless you go to the transaction, then only you will come to know whether you have access to the transaction. But in but in theory, what happens is. When you log into theory you will get the apps only assigned to your role according to your role. you will not get all the apps okay so that is it is very role based basically it is designed as a role based you when when you log in according to your role whatever the apps assigned to your role tiles you will get that apps only okay that is one of the another major change of theory role based one whereas the previous functional uh, GUI one what happens is same transaction okay uh, when a user logs in multiple users can log in to, you can use the same same function basically okay so basically one transaction for multiple roles exposing all data and function to all users okay but here decomposed apps decomposed apps for every role there will be separate kind of apps that's the, that's the major difference of theory okay so now we will see how to log into yeah. so to log into theory you need to use sap theory launchpad okay so this theory launchpad the sap theory launchpad is a shell that hosts sap theory apps and provides services such as navigation personalization embedded support and application configuration so basically theory is the entry point to sap theory it is also the entry point to SAP Fiori apps on mobile 
and desktop devices. Okay, the launch pad displays a home page with tiles which can display live status indicators such as the number of open tasks. I will show you this. So basically, launch pad is the initial screen. Basically, each tile represents a business application that the users can launch. So you can call it as app or you can call it as tile, both same. Some people call it as app. So basically, in the GUI, we had transactions, T codes. We had transactions. Okay, but in theory, In theory, you have the apps. apps. Some people call it as tiles. Tiles. So in GUA, we old GUA, traditional GUA, we have the transactions, T codes basically. That is the difference. Okay. So now let us log into the uh, theory. So basically, these theory apps on the home page are arranged in tile groups. So these apps are Put it into a group actually. I'll show you this in the system. So, how to log on to launch pad? Okay, theory launch pad basically. So, there are two methods. Two ways to launch the theory launch pad. One is via direct URL in your web browser. So, they will give you a URL. You open your web browser. You open your web browser and put that URL and then log in. That is one method. Another one method is you can launch the theory, theory from your GUI. From your GUI using this transaction slash n UI to slash FN. So in the command field, in the command field, in the command field, you enter this transaction and enter, then it will automatically launch the theory. Okay. So we will first see this in the system. So first let's I am in the GUI, I'm in the traditional GUI. Go here and put this transaction slash n slash UI to FN and then simply enter it will launch the theory sorry it was disconnected huh? mm -hmm. see it is launching the theory so it's a web browser it's a browser based okay actually it will automatically log in in this system there is some issue so that's why it is asking to enter the credentials again normally it will automatically apps will come okay but uh, what's the what's it doing there? What is the user ID? Let's see this 451. I'll enter the password. Okay. Now you will get the apps. This one, you see. 